when I turned it on, I moved the camera. So today, we're gonna make some colored acrylic. I know a lot of you ladies have made colored acrylic before. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Simple, nothing to it, just um, easy peasy colored acrylic. So you take whatever pigment you want to use. Um, I'm gonna use this little bit right here. Okay, this one I got in um, my swap back, I think, from um, Deborah Sweeney. Um, my swap back from Rosita, the butterflies. And, um, oh my gosh, I forgot to leave my swap. But anyway, I got it in Deborah's, um, her stuff that she sent in. So thank you, Deborah. And it is Periwinkle Mica Pigment. Now, Mica Pigment is different from regular pigment. Mica pigment, if you already don't, if you don't know, has this like the shimmer, the like the sparkle in it. Okay, um, the regular pigment is just like a solid color. Okay, so on that note, I'm gonna get started, and you really don't need a lot of pigment, guys. Okay, and I stress this because a lot of ladies think that by making it really pigmented your hat your your it's a better acrylic and now you can put a very little bit in and still have it really pigmented like the color is beautiful and vibrant and bright you don't need a lot so I'm gonna show you what I put in okay you guys do what you like you know what I mean I'm, I'm just saying this is how I do it now I got this little itty bitty scooper, okay? I don't even know. This is like <laughs> not even a measurement. It's so tiny, okay? But that's what it's for. It's for pigments. Um, if you do use a lot of pigment, sometimes when, especially with colors, okay, like darker colors, it'll stain the mo it'll stain your nail for one. It'll stain your brush for two. Or it takes a lot, a lot for it to clean up. You know what I mean? You gotta constantly dip in your monomer, come out, you know, wipe your brush, dip it in, wipe it off to get the pigment out to get the next color. Or you go through a lot of monomer when you have it really pigmented because sometimes some of the pigment goes, it runs into the monomer. Then you're gonna have to change it out to go use another color, a white or a clear, which a lot of ladies. Um, obviously we all know we encapsulate everything so when you're done using your color acrylic you know you're gonna have to change out your monomer because it's um, colored in there it changes the color of the monomer so my suggestion is oh you don't need a lot of pigment I assure you so I'm gonna get started I'm going to actually you know what I'm gonna start with clear okay it's easier to for the pigment to okay so this is a half a tablespoon okay I am going to use two tablespoons okay that's two tablespoons that's quite a lot of acrylic reason being I'll probably end up selling it So I'm going to take that periwinkle mica, okay, and I'm going to show you ladies, okay, there's that little bit, okay, oops, now I'm going to put that pigment aside there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it up and see what's what here, okay, now this mica, is is not that um clumpy so this little whisk will do job okay i'm gonna end up pausing it for a second while i mix this up okay Give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, so I stirred it all up and you can see the color has changed. It is like a, 
it looks like a light periwinkle color. Okay, now you guys can't see the shimmer in it, but it's there. So I'm gonna add another scoop, okay? Now these are really tiny. That's not even a quarter with two scoops, okay? That's how tiny it is. And look at that, I still got like half the bag, okay? It also saves on money. I mean, pigment isn't cheap. And so when, I mean, at least good pigment, okay? It's not cheap, so, you know, you kinda wanna save money wherever you can. You know, we all know nail stuff, nail, doing nails is not a cheap hobby. So, you know, you save money wherever you can. But, like I was saying, you don't need a lot, really. Because you'll start to see the color. Especially when you swatch it out. Now I'm gonna add, as soon as I'm done um, mixing this, which it pretty much is mixed up now. Oops. Okay. Now you can see that periwinkle color. Now, looking at it, you're not gonna be able to tell because looking at it and actually swatching it, you could see a huge difference. Because as it gets darker, that means it's going to be darker. Okay, the color. But the lighter it is, the lighter, you know, you're gonna have it. And it really doesn't need that, like that can be almost this color, like I said. So, now I am going to use some shimmers. I probably should have had them out already, but I'm a ding dong. And I am going to use my blue diamond shimmer. Okay, I am going to take this tablespoon. Oops, sorry guys. And I'm going to add that. That's quite a bit of shimmer, really, a lot. But I like my acrylics especially when I'm using mica because it has a shimmer already but I like it to be sparkly now this has a blue um, like shimmer tint to it it is absolutely gorgeous and especially for an acrylic oh my god this is gonna look amazing But I didn't want to add a gold shimmer because I wanted to keep it that blue, that beautiful periwinkle color. So I wanted that blue sparkle. So as soon as I get that shimmer all mixed up, what I'll do is I'll swatch it out for you guys. Now I didn't add any white. This is just clear, okay? And usually with pigments, you don't need to add the white if you're using like a solid color because that pigment is really, really deep in color. So it'll end up being like a solid unless you use very little of it. And then it'll be like a, almost like a transparent color of that color. So. And like I said, you know, I mean, if you like it, if you want to make it, you make it how you want it. But honestly, you really, truly don't need a lot of pigment in these acry colored acrylics. You really don't. It's a total waste of product and money and just all of it. Okay, so I'll be right back with a swatch for you guys. Hold on. Okay, ladies. So I used my amazing... Um, detailed, beautiful Tammy, Tammy Taylor acrylic brush that Anna Navarro made. It is gorgeous, isn't it? She is just super, super talented. Look at that bow. It's absolutely stunning. She is just amazing. Look at this. It's so beautiful. And she made this. I purchased it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like silver holographic here, and then it goes into this like pinkish purple color. It is so beautiful. And then she did this 3D. Oh, it is stunning. She is just amazing. So, let me stop. Okay. So, I love it the way it is. 
okay? Now, if I keep, if I add probably another two or three scoops, I probably have about an eighth of a teaspoon. Um, it should make it darker, but I love how it came out with just the two uh, little ones of these, okay? If you wanna make it more of a solid, but still have the shimmer, all you have to do is add a little bit of white to it, and you're good. There's no clear about it, but I love how transparent, it's transparent, but it's not. I don't know how to, ex how, how to explain it, but I'll show you. It came out stunning. Here, let me put it behind something. Here, hold on. Come on, I gotta have something here. Here, here. Lordy, lordy. Are you kidding me? I don't have a card or nothing. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have this that was made by Eunice. A card she made. Okay, so let me put it here. And I did a quick swatch. It is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, come on, focus. Look at how gorgeous that is. It just shimmers. Now, like I said, you can always make it darker, or more, not darker, but more solid. I think I like it the way it is. That shimmer is absolutely stunning. I love that pigment. It is gorgeous. Look at how pretty. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I have nail polish on my thumb still. It's like pinkish color. I was testing some polishes out, so it kind of stained my fingernail. But anyway, so here is my Periwinkle acrylic, colored acrylic. It is gorgeous. You can't tell how much it really shimmers, and it has that blue shimmer color, and it goes perfect with it. I might add maybe another one of these, but not nothing else because I think it's perfect. I love how the color is and it would look really nice on my skin tone. So that is how I make colored acrylic. Um, very simple, very easy. You don't need a lot of product. I mean, it just all depends on how much you're really going to make. If you're just going to make it for yourself, you just need, you don't need uh, two tablespoons. You just need maybe a half a ta ha tablespoon, you know. If you want to do more than one set, you can do a full tablespoon. So, it's all in what you, how, you know, how much you want to make of it. And what you want to put in it. There's shimmers, there's super fine um, holographic pigments, all kinds of beautiful pigments out there to make your own colored acrylic so you don't have to buy it. It is so much cheaper making your own pigments and you can just experiment away. Go crazy, go nuts, make beautiful colors. I mean amazing colors. So, on that note, ladies and gents, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And if you have any questions at all, you just comment down below. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give away, let's see, where's one of those bags? I don't have any more jars, ladies, so, so, so sorry. So let's see, we got half a tablespoon here. I'm gonna put that in there. Almost a full table. Almost a full tablespoon. That's quite a bit in there, okay? So, one winner. If anybody's interested. Okay. Just comment down below. Oh, I got glitter on there. Comment down below. Um, hmm. What am I going to have you guys say? I always do this, and I, I never figure out what I'm going to say. Um, I don't know. You know what? Just leave a comment. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. And I know you entered. No, you know what? Just in case, because some people don't like to comment. Just You want to just write periwinkle at the end of your comment? That's fine. Or just periwinkle itself? And I'll call the winner tomorrow for this. Okay? So, if you're interested in winning this pigment, this acrylic, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, not the pigment, the acrylic. Uh, like I said, comment down below, periwinkle, in your comment, at the end of your comment, the beginning of your comment, just as long as periwinkle's in there. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. I hope this helped anybody that doesn't know how to make color acrylics. I love you guys. And stay tuned for more videos. Bye.